Welcome back. Well, you've heard of Hungry Hungry Hippos, but what about The Hungry Hiker? Hello. If that sounds like you, an Arizona travel writer and author has written an informative, inspiring, funny book called Boots and Burgers, an Arizona Handbook for Hungry Hikers. Roger Naylor joins us to tell us more about the book. Roger, thank you so much. It's a uh, pleasure. One, for coming, and two, for writing a book that's right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. I'm a hungry hiker. I mean, uh, that's what I do on the trail. I, I know there are healthier people out there. My idea of trail mix is to open a big giant bag of M&Ms, toss in a couple of peanuts and a raisin, and I'm good. There you, know, you go. I, uh, I spend a lot of time on the trail thinking about what am I going to eat when I'm finished here, you know? And if yeah. you hike enough miles, then the calories have gone, so I've got to replenish them. Nothing better than a big juicy burger. Oh yeah. I love it. So is this how you got your idea for the book? It is. You know, that's my favorite day of all, to get up in the morning, hike into the Arizona outback, and spend a few hours just walking some miles, seeing some scenery, some wildlife, uh, soaking up some solitude, working up a sweat, working up an appetite, and then stopping on the drive home at a little diner or cafe where burgers leap off the grill like trout from a stream. You bite into that tender, juicy, salty, beefy package and feel like a kid again. That's the best day of all. Stop, Roger. I'll take a Boots and Burgers day anytime I can get it. My mouth is actually You can't, watering. you can't. I have not had lunch yet. you got to stop. But is that what makes this so different from other maybe, maybe other hiking guides? Well, exactly. I wanted to provide a book uh, that gave you not only the information, but the inspiration. Other hiking books are just resource guides. They're facts and directions. They tell you about the trail. I tell you about the hike, the experience of being out there, and I try to make it a little bit of an adventure. So yeah, here, here's, here's where you hike, and then afterwards, uh, I always include a couple of sidebars, maybe a great state park, a little museum, something else to see. Stop, enjoy a visit, and then here's where to eat. You know, so it's, it becomes a road trip, it becomes a day. It, it's to entice people to get out and see this state. We live in the most beautiful state in the country. Get out and see it at every opportunity. Exactly. You know, I'm more likely to go on that hike if I have like a fun plan for the rest of the day as well. That's what I love about your book. Now, are all the eating places that you cover burger joints? Uh, no. They're, I've got a couple of barbecue places. I've got some hot dog stands. I've got ice cream parlors. I've got a pizza parlor, some Mexican restaurants. My wife is a vegetarian. She found places, things to eat at just about most of the places. But, you know, about 80% are uh, burgers because to me, burgers are the king of comfort food because they're a flashback on a bun. They're that childhood memory. You know, a good burger, a genuine burger, transport you back to a more innocent time at first bite. Plus, we have a great tradition of burger joints in this state. Cattle are one of the five C's of the Arizona economy. Cattle, climate, codgers, and cactus candy, I think is how it goes. So, uh, the, you know, we, we burgers are important to us. So That's the excuse I'm going to use next time I'm eating a big old burger. <laughs> I need to go back to my childhood. Forget the diet. Roger says I need to go back to my childhood. And these spots, we're talking about how beautiful our state is. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. you've got spots all over the state. Oh, absolutely. I cover the entire state yeah. from the Utah border to the Mexican border, uh, the West Coast to the White Mountains. Uh, there's entire chapters on Flagstaff, on the Grand Canyon, on Sedona. Uh, so whatever you want, there's a, a range of trails. I try to entice people to get out into every corner, you know, explore. And while you're out there, then, yeah, you want to know where to eat, maybe where to stay or some other little interesting tidbit about the place. And you say a range of trails. Is that Does that mean that maybe we are covering the beginner? through the advanced and every I, stage of hiker? I made a point to include some very easy trails. Most of them are kind of in the moderate range. Okay. And then there are a few that are very difficult, especially like the Grand Canyon or the hike up to Humphreys Peak, the highest mountain in Arizona. Those are very tough uh, trails and you want to be an experienced hiker. But most of them, uh, just about anybody can uh, tackle or uh, with a little workout, it's to encourage you to get out and you just maybe start with a couple of the easy ones and then it gets a little harder as you go. Well, I know you mentioned the Grand Canyon in that list of places, and I had asked you before, do we already have another book in the works? And you do. I do. I am uh, working with the Grand Canyon Association to write a book on Emory and Ellsworth Kolb, the famous photographers. If you've ever been to the Grand Canyon and the village there, that Kolb studio that looks like it's about to slide down into the canyon it was actually built in 1903, and that was their original photography studio right there. And uh, so I'm writing a book about them that will be out next year. Oh, wow. Well, we'll definitely look forward to that.
Thanks. Okay, Roger, before we let you go, we need some inside scoop for our viewers. What are some of your favorite hikes that you cover in your book? Uh, around here, Canyon Loop uh, in the Catalina State Park is really beautiful, and I'm going to head there this afternoon because I think some good wildflowers are happening right on the Sutherland Trail uh, right there. Um, one of my favorites is uh, Cochise Trail in the Dragoon Mountains, and then uh, another one is the Wildcat Trail in Monument Valley. I'm a huge western movie fan, and the idea uh, that you can hike around the mitten, the west mitten, on the floor of Monument Valley all by yourself is pretty amazing. Excellent. And the favorite place to eat after one of those? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I listen, there's a place after each one. Yeah. I always tell you so. Uh, I'm guessing it's a burger joint for you. Yeah, yeah, most times. <laughs> well, Roger, thank you so much for being on today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And Boots and Burgers is available in stores and on Amazon. And Roger will also be appearing at the Tucson Festival of Books on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Rio Nueva booth. For a complete list of Roger Naylor's presentations and book signings around the state, visit rogernaylor.com.